Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Jude um, chapter 1, one chapter um, verses 16 to 21. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ this morning to give you thanks for yet another day of life that you have preserved on our behalf as always lord i just pray that this life of ours that you have given us that we use it for your pleasure to be conformed to the will your will heavenly father as you have taught us through your only begotten son our lord jesus christ <laughs> I pray, Lord, that um, each and every morning that you keep us faithful in seeking you in word, in spirit and in truth, that we may better know you, to fear you first and foremost so we can know you, and then to be perfected in your love so that we can love you above all things and love each other as you have taught us. I pray for all of us that are struggling in our faith, those who are going through the tests and trials of this life that we do not faint but we always seek you in prayer and supplication so that we can overcome this world not being taken away with the cares of this life the, the lust of the flesh and the pride of life but that we live humbly meek in meekness and in love so that we can be conformed to your image and be that beautiful spotless bride on that day of the great marriage feast of the lamb so we thank you and we give you all thanks and praise in the name of our lord jesus christ we pray amen all right so jude um 16 goes on to say these are murmurers complainers walking after their own lusts and their mouth speaking great swelling words having men's persons in admiration because of advantage but beloved remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our lord jesus christ how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lusts these be they who separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit. But ye, beloved, building yourself, sorry, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. All right, so Jude there. Um, Jude pretty much was speaking about it's like a it's like a reminder letter pretty much right and he was reminding the reader of the faith that of our Lord Jesus Christ that we need to contend for the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ right but also he was reminding us that um there were and are going to be ungodly people amongst those who believe in jesus christ professing they will be professing the same faith but they're going to be living a life contrary and deceiving their de a life of deception a life of corruptness a life of um lasciviousness um mocking right <coughs> ungodly an ungodly life at the end of the day right so he was um they're just reminding of the, the characteristics of these people he said they were going to be murmurers complainers walking after their own lusts and we know that um as long as a man is walking or a woman is walking after their own lusts they're not walking in the will of our heavenly father it was impossible to be walking after your own loss and walk it according to the will of our heavenly father impossible right without a doubt because jesus christ himself didn't walk after his own will right 
and he taught us that it's not our will but the will of our heavenly father be done in our lives right so he's showing you how to identify these these individuals who walk contrary to the gospel of our lord jesus christ right said out of their mouth they speak great swelling words having men's person admirate in admiration because of advantage right and it shows you there yeah they're going to be speaking some not what you call it, like niceness right they're going to be speaking and then we use the same scriptures and be speaking words that would hype up or maybe encourage or make fee people feel good but ultimately they're not they're, they're doing it in pretense right they they might be preaching in pretense. They might be saying things in 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 um in a in so much that they don't. They're not really speaking the truth from the heart. They may be regurgitating it just, but they're doing it so that they can get ahead in this life. And when I say get ahead in this life, is that they're gonna they're seeking the praises of men. They're seeking what they can get from individuals from in this life right and not necessarily to please our heavenly father right it said they have men's persons in in ad, in admiration and we know that our god who is holy who told us to be as he is who is perfect is not a respect of person so if, as long as somebody is respected is a respect of person just especially those who respect people so they can get a, as i said get ahead in this carnal life then these are the individual we have to pay attention to not to not to take heed to what they say or what they do right um yeah 17 but beloved remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our lord jesus christ right how that they told you there should be mockers in the last times who should walk after their own ungodly lusts and it's there, it's there in, Jesus spoke about it, the apostles spoke about it. So it's not something um like foreign or shouldn't be foreign to us if we actually um keep abreast in the word. Is that we, we, there, it's, it showed you that they're going to be false apostles, false Christ, false followers of Christ, right? Who's going to go out to deceive people because that's that's they're, they're false in it they're not true <laughs> they're not true so they're, they're gonna be trying to deceive people and individuals and um it's very important that we keep, we keep mindful of this thing and not easily taken away with the with everything that somebody says let's see let, let the fruits um talk for itself the fruits of the spirit right the love of christ in that person let it speak for themselves is somebody living after um a life modeled after christ they don't need to big up themselves they don't need to glam glorify themselves right god would do that right and you, you would know them by the fruits so if you see the fruits not matching up with the fruits of the spirit and it's matching up with the fruits of the flesh that person is walking after the flesh it's just obvious if you see that the fruits of the spirit is being manifested in this in this person's life then you know that that person is seeking our lord jesus christ and living a life that is pleasing unto him right there's no going around it um he said these are they who separate themselves um sensual having not the spirit see not the spirit right these are the people who are not going to have the spirit of god but as i said walking after the they the, are doing the works of the flesh right um but we who profess the faith of our lord jesus christ as beloved children of him we should be building up ourselves as jews said there on our most holy faith praying in the holy ghost right and when we say um building up ourselves on the most holy faith our faith is in our lord jesus christ that he's the son of the living god those who believe on him shall not perish but have eternal life and he said men ought to pray always and not to faint right because that prayer helps us with our faith and our walk in this life in that we're bringing our our our, our everything we're bringing it to the feet of our lord for 
help. <laughs> Pretty much for help. He knows what we, we need, but it's we need to still make known to him, right? That we acknowledge that we are in need of this. We, we come in humility to him asking. And then he, he is faithful and just to, to help us in these things, right? Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And as always, what we say, everything is centered on the love, right? Love covers a multitude of sin. Love is the fulfilling of the law. Love um, is, yeah, the foundation of everything. And it's only through living a life of our Lord Jesus Christ that we can actually perfect love or be perfected in the love of god right and if so be the case and we, we do live what he how he has told us to live then we have that hope right because he has mercy upon us we have that hope that we shall have eternal life because of the promises that he has left here for us so yeah we'll leave it at that this morning hope Hopefully everybody has a good Monday, start of the work week. And um, yeah, we, we, we'll definitely catch up tomorrow, God's willing. Just a reminder that um, the email address for your questions is in the description. It's the word at eachreach1.org and you can send in any questions. It doesn't have to be biblical. But as much as the Lord has taught me, and led me over the years, I would answer it according to biblical principles. And hopefully those th things what is said is helpful to whosoever posed the question. Right? And I'll do so anonymously. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that today. And yeah, we'll catch up tomorrow.